Hey, what's up guys? Today we'll be making a new shift knob for the Mini. I just got some bar stock in the mail, so when I bring it to the shop, we'll chuck it up in the machine and we'll just get going. Over here, I'm just kind of trying to fine tune the machine a little bit. It's my first time using the lathe, so I'm just kind of testing the waters out. Um, I didn't get too far tonight. It was kind of late night when I started, but I just I just scratched the surface for tonight, and I ended up going home. And I started making now uh, the logo for the center cap for the shift knob. Obviously, using Rick from Rick and Morty because it is a tiny Rick car, so I had to, I had to go with the Rick. He's looking pretty cool too with the shades on, so I figured why not. I'm using a one inch diameter circle and uh, I'm just kind of printing it out on a piece of sticker vinyl. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm I'm looking for a little bit thicker of a piece of paper. Mainly this cardboard, it's like still thin but pretty thick. You just need to be somewhat flat, have a nice nice base to it. Otherwise, just the sticky material alone would be too flimsy. At least the cardstock has like some rigidity to it. So I'm just gonna stick the stick around the cardboard and I'm gonna cut around it in a circle. Yeah, just like that. Now, when I'm mixing epoxy, uh, I like to stir for three minutes straight. You really gotta mix this stuff up because if you don't mix it for a good long time, it's gonna come out tacky, it won't dry hard, it won't cure right. So you really gotta stir this thing for three minutes and then just kind of place it right on top. Um, I usually just dump it, but today I'm just using the paintbrush. Just kind of dabbing on top, trying to like keep it as neat as possible. I like to stick them together first, smooth it out with my finger, and then do the top layer right on top. Yeah, just let it do its thing. Don't go nuts with it. Otherwise, you'll have it dripping off the sides and everything. You just want to put just enough, and it's gonna get that bevel right on its own. And then I go back with a heat gun or a lighter. It just brings the little bubbles to the surface and pops them out. Um, it's not gonna look like it is in this case because uh, I'm, I'm out of black ink currently on my printer. So it still looks like there's bubbles in it, but I assure you there is no bubbles whatsoever. You use the lighter long enough and it brings the, the air right to the top. You're good to go. Let that cure overnight and then you're good. All right, back in the shop. I can continue with this. Uh, I'm just kind of eyeballing this. I'm not really going too nuts with it, with the design or anything. Um, just taking some basic little measurements, making some bevels here and there, and just kind of having fun with it. So over here I was having trouble with the tap. I couldn't get the work right, but either way I had it pretty much centered and I brought it over to the vise and I was able just to finish tapping it out on the vise. I brought it back over here to the lathe and I just faced it off and cleaned up the edges and whatnot. I just cut this with a nail grinder on the vise. Now I'm just gonna try and face off this and clean this up a bit. But the threads came out awesome. I did the threads in the, in the vise. It was just a little easier for me as I'm uh, new to this whole uh, lathe machine here. 
This is my first time making something on a lathe. I just picked it up a couple days ago. So this is a nice beginner project for me. So we'll go from there. It's kind of on the little side, but then again, it's going in a mini, so that's okay. Yeah, so right here, I'm just making a little recessed area, just somewhere where that logo I made can fit. And pretty much at this point, I'm happy with how it's coming out. So I'm gonna just start sanding it and polishing it. Yeah, and I'm using a 350 grit sandpaper for this. And then I'm going back with like a uh, 1200 and a 2000 grit. A little bit of scotch right here and there, and then I'm doing the polish. I was kind of having a hard time with the polish. Not, it wasn't the greatest, but it turned out pretty good. So I'm using JB Weld to adhere my logo to the shift knob. You can kind of use whatever you want for adhesion, but this is just all I had in the shop at the time. So this is just what I'm gonna use. Just blend them together with a little stick, smear it on the back, and then just plop that sucker in, line it up, and that's, that's it. Oh, and don't forget to line up your shift knob. All you gotta do, or in this case, what I did, was I just turned, put the shift knob out and I turned it as much as I could until it's leveled out. And then just when you stick the logo to it, just make sure it's nice and straight. And then all you just gotta do is let it dry overnight and that's it.